All right, in this video, I'm going to dissect the dorsal isolate from a stage 12 and a half embryo. So I want to first go through and select embryos that are of the right stage, and then I'm going to go and remove their vitellin membrane. I'm looking for embryos that are consistently um, stage 12 and a half or so, could do it a little bit later, could do it all the way up to stage 21. Um, in particular, they need to have a well-defined archenteron before you can go ahead and, and isolate the, the dorsal onlogin from these. So I've removed the, embryo, the vitellin membranes. Note the blunt forceps on the left and the pointy forceps on the right. At this point, I want to bring in my hair loop and my eyebrow knife, my hair knife on the, on the right-hand side. I want to focus on uh, rolling the embryo so that the dorsal side is up. Um, this is, in, this is uh, determined by uh, pigment pattern and a general flatness of the embryo on the dorsal side. So here I'm going to bring it into focus and I'll roll it around a little bit. Um, and what you can see is um, also you can find the um, more bottle cells uh, on the ventral side of the blastopore still. You can look at them if you need to by kind of uh, prodding into the yolk plug. Um, so here I've oriented the embryo. I'm going to insert the hair knife uh, into the archenteron uh, on the right-hand side, the posterior end, and push it all the way through to the anterior end. I'll, I'll then uh, tear up the uh, uh, ventral side of the embryo, make this huge incision um, right down then through the, uh, through the yolk plug. So now I can um, slowly tease out the floor of the archenteron. Uh, with that hair knife, opening up the space that is the archenteron, and sort of pulling that open. There you see it. The entire floor of the archenteron is laid out uh, right in front of you. Um, at this point, I'm going to go and flip the embryo around um, and uh, trim off the left and right sides uh, from the dorsal perspective. You note that there's still big, large, uh, uh, vegetal endoderm cells or lateral endoderm cells off on that explant. I'll trim them from the left and right sides and then I'll also uh, I also just trim the anterior. I'm going to flip this around, clean it up a little bit, a couple more um, cuts on either side and now I'm going to reorient it so that the blastopore lip is on the bottom and I'll make one more cut right there, remove the blastopore lip. And so now I have a, a nice rectangular dorsal isolate. It's a little bit um, off-center, um, but uh, that'll give me some ideas. So now I'm looking at the neural side of this explant, uh, the dorsal isolate. I'm going to go back out again in a second, flip it, and look at the vegetal, or look at the archenteron, uh, the, enter, the endoderm cells on the other side. Now for comparison, so you can see the relative size of the dorsal isolate compared to the Keller sandwich. I'm going to uh, zoom in here with the Keller sandwich on the left um, and the dorsal isolate on the right.